Hi everyone, I'm Tanya Maria and I'm here with Ardell Beauty. I'm so excited because I created my signature glow and with the bronzy smoky eye using all of their products. Keep watching to see how I created this look. So for my foundation, I'm gonna be using Camouflage Foundation and I'm gonna choose Dark 10.0 with Medium 5.0 and the reason for that is because I feel that I have two different shades with my skin tone, I want it to be like a little more olive, a little light in the areas that I want it to be, but still have like that yellow undertone also. And I like to use the back of my hand for everything. For a pump and a half of the 10.0, and then a pump of the medium 5.0. So you can see how the two shades are completely different from each other, but they still have a very yellow undertone in them. And I like to use a brush when applying my foundation. There is no right or wrong answer when doing that, but I really like how a dense brush makes everything just melt into the skin. I'm going back in with the 10.0, just to add a little more warmth to my face. And I really like how this foundation's coming out. It's very, very creamy, but it's light. It's definitely not a matte texture, and I really like that. I'm more into having a glowy overall look. For my concealer, I'm gonna use Camouflage Concealer. The two tones that I'm gonna use for this is Medium 6 and Light 3. And the reason for that is because I have certain sunspots, um, old acne scars, so I wanna be able to cover it with a darker concealer first, the Medium 6, and then go back in and highlight with the light shade in Light 3. We'll just add a little here. I like to just apply it with a sponge, just because I feel like you're able to move the concealer around a little bit more and then add coverage on the places where you feel like you need it most. I like how flexible this wand is. I feel like it's just a nice soft touch to the face, especially when you're contouring. I like to apply the concealer on my lid just because I feel like it then leaves you with a nice, warm, maybe even canvas. So when I'm doing my eyeshadow, it doesn't look so off. I always get a little weary about loose powders because I don't ever want to look too matte. As you guys know, I love to look really glowy. I applied it onto the cap, just like that. And then you just take a really dense brush, and then you just like kiss your face with the powder. Make sure when you're setting your concealer, you're not rubbing the brush like this way. You're just kissing your face with any type of brush that you're using. You don't want to disrupt the coverage that you built underneath. I'm going to use Vacay Mode Bronzer. There are two shades in this bronzer. First up here, it's Lucky and Lust, and down here is Rustic Tan. So I'm gonna choose Rustic Tan, and then let's see how I feel after we apply it. I like starting um, a little bit below the cheekbone when you're using a bronzer, just so it can create sculpted cheekbone look. And don't be afraid to, again, kiss your face with the brush. Don't try to move it too much. It's like light little taps. And then I like to add a little bit more on the forehead to balance everything out a little bit underneath your chin, and then of course in the nose. Can I just kiss the face with it? I'm gonna go ahead and use Lucky and Lust on the apples of my cheeks to give a little more warmth to my face. Just switching up my brush, and I'm gonna just tap that color. So now I wanna just intensify my highlight a little more, so I'm gonna apply a couple drops of the Attitude Adjuster in Golden Sheen, and it looks like this. Let's put a little bit on the back of my hand just so we could see the color. And now it's time for my favorite part. My poor eyebrows get a makeover. I'm gonna use Brow Liberty in medium brown. This pencil looks very precise, so I know I'll be able to draw the strokes that I love to do so much on myself. And the other side has a nice brow comb. So first I'm gonna just take the brow comb side and just brush my eyebrows in an upward motion. And the first thing I'm gonna do with a really super, super light hand is drawing a straight line to kind of connect all the hair together. And it's like I'm just using a featherweight hand stroke. And so once that's done, then I'll start creating the hair. Look at the difference in my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna do my eyeshadow, and before I do that, I'm gonna use In Her Prime Eye Primer. It's a matte finish, and this primer helps the eyeshadow stay on all day long and makes the color a lot more vibrant than if you would use it without. I like applying my primers on with a brush, 
just because I feel like it gives a really even application of the product. For my eyeshadow today, I'm gonna use the Pro Eyeshadow Palette Metallic and Matte. I'm gonna start by applying this really pretty amber color. And then I'm gonna use this really pretty gold color right on top of what I just did. Notice I'm only using this color in the center of my lid. Next, I'm gonna apply this color in my crease. With a small brush, I'm gonna deepen my crease with this color right here. So now I'm gonna use the Irresistible Shadow Stick underneath my lash line just to give a nice base for when I smoke out my eyeshadow. With the pencil brush, I'm gonna go in with this shade and this shade to create a smoky eye underneath your lash line. Next, I'm gonna apply Ardell's new lashes. These are style 776, 100% premium Remy hair with Invisiband. I love these lashes because they just look more natural and full without seeing that thick lash band that we all hate to see and feel. I'm super excited to use Duo's new Quick Set Strip Lash Adhesive. This is the fastest setting glue that's out there right now. As soon as you feel that you have enough glue, we're gonna start to apply the lashes onto yourself. So with your eye open, you'll just make sure that the middle is locked in and then you'll push the other sides down. And this is why it's so important to keep your eye open during this application because you wanna be sure and be able to see all that's going on. And once you feel like the lashes are secure, then you'll add on your mascara to blend your real lashes with these. So now that my false lashes are applied, I wanna make sure that my real lashes blend with the falsies. I'm gonna use Mega Volume Mascara from Ardell. So I'm gonna just apply the mascara to my lashes and I can see where they are. I don't want to apply the mascara if possible to the falsies because I wanna reuse these over and over again. And here's the grand finale. So I'm excited to play with their Ultra Matte, Ultra Opaque Lipstick. This looks really, really pretty. I love, love nudes. And then they have this nice gloss. It's Vinyl Vixen, and the shade is Kinky Nude. Because this lipstick is very, very matte, you wanna make sure you're probably just gonna press it onto your lips instead of necessarily rubbing it. But time is taking up a little bit further with this gloss, let's see. Just to add a little more definition, and this is truly like the perfect nude. Thank you so much for tuning in with me, you guys. Please let me know which Ardell products you've been loving. Tag Ardell Beauty and tag me. 